What's up, YouTube? DN Dual Commentary here. Um, it's very odd that I didn't go immediately over my opponent's rating. I usually do that to prove I'm not just playing awful players. I picked Rock just on a whim, which I never do, to be honest. I always, I almost always pick Scissors, so um, if you want to go first against me, pick Rock. Anyways, it looks like I'm playing against some sort of Light Swarm variant. You can see that he's going to summon Lila, set 2. He mills Blaster, MST, Needlebug, Nest. And I had to actually read that. I'm playing my Insectors. It's the deck that I've been playing with most. I have double Duality, Forbidden Lands, double Wabaku, and Armageddon Knight. It's a really bad opening hand. I'm going to try and put Hornet into the Graveyard, but you can see he immediately uses Breakthrough Skill on it, which means I'm boned because not only do I not have any Insectors, but I have no way... Of getting Hornet into the graveyard. You can see I've got uh, in uh, Insect Imitation, Pot of Duality, and Monk. Monk is pretty much the only choice here because if I get Duality, I've still got two Dualities in my hand. Like I can't go three straight turns of Duality. I'll never special summon the entire game. And Insect Imitation is no good because I don't run any level five Insectors, so it's not like I can use Armageddon Knight to get anything. Plus, I don't have Ladybug or Hornet, so it's like, you know, that, that would be useless anyway. So I just take um, the Monk. I'm hoping that I can ditch the other duality in my hand with Monk, and I can um, I can go into, like, Lavable Chain. I can uh, <clears throat> bring out, uh, what do you call it? I can bring out Hopper, potentially try and dump um, a Hornet into the graveyard with Lavable Chain. I play Wabaku because he has Lila, and he would just pop it anyway, so it's like either use the Wabaku or lose in the main phase too. I might as well just go ahead and keep my, um, my Armageddon Knight. He's going to end up milling five cards anyway, so it's like, uh, he's just, he's putting constant pressure on the board. Like, that's really one of the ways you beat Insector is, is you constantly put pressure on the board before they get to Centipede and Hornet. As you can see in his main phase two, uh, while he's milling, he hits Equips Wyvern, which gives him access to JD. I'm still thinking, like, how he's going to remove it, though, because he hasn't shown me any Chaos variants of this deck, so I'm like, well, how is he going to... You know, how is he going to get that out of the graveyard? And then I just thought, like, oh, okay, well, he can just use Blaster or something like that. I guess the that's kind of like the new version of Light Swarms is to throw in things like Blaster so that you can uh, banish, you know, dead JDs and shit like that. You can see that I go for the Monk play. Um, <clears throat> I try and use Pod Duality, but he ends up having another Breakthrough skill. I mean, if you're going to tell me you're going to open with Lila, Double Breakthrough skill, and a Light Swarm deck, that, that's pretty damn good. <clears throat> so... None of my monsters are really good here. Uh, I'm going to pitch, uh, or excuse me, I'm going to make Lavalvo Chain. At this point, I'm trying to get Hornet into the graveyard, and I'm just desperately hoping that maybe I draw, I rip a Dragonfly or a Centipede or something like that, because without it, I really don't see myself winning this game. Uh, I'm going to run over Lila. I'm probably just going to set Wabaku past turn, just in case he summons, like, you know, Judgment Dragon or something like that. I don't, I don't think he has enough... Light one right now. I think he's still sitting on like three, but he's still definitely at advantage because even if I just want to keep my Lavable Chain, I gotta burn the Wabaku and Lavable Chain's effect right now doesn't do me doesn't do me much good. I didn't want to put too much on the board. I didn't want to use Call to Haunted on a board two because if he summons another Lila, I'll lose my Call to Haunted. It would just be bad. <clears throat> so um, we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. He's just sitting on. Jane, he still has a uh, blaster, which means he can get that JD pretty much at any time. And if he has another, if he has like uh, another um, elemental dragon, then that's just going to be really bad. You can see he hits Lumina, and yeah, <laughs> he had another uh, E dragon in hand. He pitches Tempest to summon Lila, so obviously I'm going to lose my back row. Uh, I'm just going to chain it. But the thing is, he can just burn so many cards from his deck. He's going to mill, what, three from Lila, three from Lumina, and Jane does two, if I'm not mistaken. So that's eight cards right there, which means that he will be locked and loaded for Judgment Dragon, which, as you can see on my field, I in my hand, I have absolutely no way of stopping. So, I mean, this is pretty much kind of like a formality. He's looking at his extra deck, and I think he's going to try and exceed. Considering that this is sort of a Dragon-based deck, considering he runs, uh, he runs what? Probably two JDs, and we've got a Quips Wyvern, uh, four E Dragons, so that's probably about six more dragons. I mean, if he goes into Queen Dragon Gen, I mean, he can start doing some damage there. That's what I think he's going to end up doing because, I mean, no other level fours really make sense unless he went into like Diamond Direwolf and he just wanted to pop Lavalvo Chain just so I couldn't use his effect again. But 
Laval Bouchain right now doesn't really do me much good. <clears throat> so let's see. He's just not doing anything, not doing anything. Uh, he keeps looking at his graveyard, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Make a goddamn play. Thank you. <clears throat> he goes for the XC play. He's going to summon, again, um, Queen Dragon Jin. He's going to detach. He's going for one of those, uh, what's it called? He has to be going for one of those E-Dragons. Yeah, he goes for Blaster. And <laughs> I'm just pretty much fucked at this point. You can see now he's going to banish a JD plus his Equips Wyvern, which, is, I mean, he's going to get JD back anyway. At this point, he can make Jack, he can make Draco Sack, he can pop my Lavable Chain, he can make Big Eye and Snatch Steal it. Like, he has so many options. And yeah, I'm, look, I'm looking to detach. He goes for Big Eye. I, I probably would have went for Draco Sack, you know? I guess he thought Draco Sack would, might clutter his field. But, I mean, I just, I find it better because if, what if I rip a Dark Hole? It doesn't really matter. I guess he has JD in hand anyway. So he's like, I, I basically have enough damage on board to kill you. You know, if you don't have Dark Hole, you're going to lose. And if you do have Dark Hole, I'll just summon JD. <clears throat> but he want, I guess he wanted to use Lavalvo Chain's effect. So he uses Lavalvo Chain's effect. He ends up dumping another Eclipse Wyvern into the graveyard. And then that's just going to put another JD into Banished. And when he uh, when he uses the uh, the summon when he summons one of the dragons again, then I mean it's a wrap. So I'm just gonna scoop it up and we're gonna go into the side deck because I could not come back from that field. This is actually a very poor matchup, and I'm kind of looking at what I need to side out. Okay, so I'm th I'm taking on my MSTs. I'm thinking that the only trap that he ran was uh was was breakthrough scale. At least that's the only one that I saw. You know, I'm thinking about bringing in soul drain. You know, because of Equip's Wyvern, the thing that sucks is that was like the only thing that really looked like it triggered in the graveyard in his deck. I'm definitely going to bring in Defezure because all of his mill shit would just get banished. And uh, what I've learned is whenever you bring in Defezure, take the tomatoes out because that shit is just too much of a conflict. <clears throat> so still doing sighting here. Obviously want to leave in my hand traps, my uh, Maxis to try and combat against Lumina and um, just other random shit that he might have other like non inherent special summons lumina just being like the main one so yeah uh this is just it's not a great matchup because you know my forbidden lances and msts and shit like that are just kind of dead let's see what i got all right so i've got two monks and a, a centipede a call of the haunted gigamantis um dark hole this is a really really mediocre hand so i think i'm gonna go and i'm gonna try and summon monk here and I'm going to pinch my Dark Hole to try and activate its effect. Uh, I'm going to do that because, I mean, Dark Hole doesn't really do me. Like, it doesn't help me out. What I need with this hand is I need to get uh, Hornet into the graveyard or Ladybug into the graveyard. So, I'm going for Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight's going to dump Hornet into the graveyard. And I think at this point, I'm going to exceed for Lavalvo Chain. And I'm going to put Dark on Dragon on top of my deck. Like, that's one of the... Uh, the better plays. I thought about Abyss Dweller for a second for some stupid reason, even though he could just like summon Jane and run it over. <clears throat> so yeah, you can see I'm going to try and put Dark Arm on top of my deck. That would give me three darks if he kills my Lavalvo Chain. And I didn't set Call of the Haunted because he's got me kind of shook of Lila like, uh, right now. That's one of the things about Light Sworn decks is Lila is like one of the best cards in the deck because you just summon her, she blows shit up, and then, you know, she just doesn't die. <clears throat> so you can see he just attacks and he has Honest. And I'm like, fuck, he would just have the goddamn Honest. Now, wouldn't he? Now I'm wishing that I did set the Call of the Haunted because, you know, it's like, yeah, I've got Dark Arm Dragon, but... You know, I can't OTK him, so, you know, Dark Arm doesn't really do a ton right here. Anyways, I'm just going to pop his, um, I'm just going to pop his, uh, his Equips Wyvern. I think he's just going to banish JD. <clears throat> yeah, he banishes JD, and at this point, I'm just going to search my Insector Sword. I'm going to attack for 24, hope that he does not have Gores. He doesn't, and I'm just going to pass turn. And again, I still have three darts in Graveyard, so if he tries to, you know, commit too much to the board, you know, minus him having, like, a breakthrough skill, I can pretty much torch his field at any time I want. <clears throat> the only thing that I'm concerned about right now is him just dropping, like, two JDs in one turn or something like that and going for, like, an OTK. And you can see he just banished Equips Wyvern and Redox to summon Blaster, and I'm like, okay, this is... 
<laughs> this is not good <laughs> because he's going to get the search off of the Tempest. I didn't think he ran any targets. That's the crazy thing. He ran the Blue Dragon as a target, so that was really smart of him. And then, obviously, uh, of course, Wyvern is going to trigger, and he's going to get his uh, JD2. Now, he ended up getting Card Trooper from the Debris Dragon. I thought that, you know, he he, he obviously has targets in his deck because he has Ryko and shit like that. So, even if he didn't hit Trooper, he still could have uh, used it on Ryko or something like that. He still had plays. I think he can make, um, he can, he has a bunch of plays. I mean, he can go into Draco Sack. He can make um, Star Eater. I mean, he has a bunch of decent plays. I don't know why he would make Star Eater because I, I could just dark arm that shit. But um, I mean, he has some okay plays. Draco Sack wouldn't be terrible. It would it would make me it would force me into uh, to dropping my dark arm prematurely, and then he could uh, counter dark arm with Judgment Dragon. I mean, that would be a pretty decent play. If he just attacks with everything, I mean, he'll do he'll do minimal damage. I I don't see him not going into a synchro play right now. I, I think that he's thinking, but he, he's not quite sure which one he wants to do. And you have to remember, if he uses Card Trooper and Debris Dragon to go into Black Rose, you know, when Black Rose dies, that just gives him two more dragons with the Debris Dragon and the Black Rose to resummon the uh, Blaster anyway. So, you know, it's, it's actually giving him a second dragon, or it's giving him more dragons to put in his graveyard. And you can see... He actually activates uh, Black Rose's effect, and I'm like, really? I didn't see that coming. <laughs> so I'm just going to put the centipede back in my hand, and uh, I'm just going to be content on, uh, what's it called, on passing turn. Or excuse me, on, um, I lost train of thought, I don't know what I was going to say. He activates Needlebug's Nest, and he ends up putting five cards into the graveyard. The only notable one at this point, I guess, would be the fact that he hit a title, although... Yeah, I, I think that he can summon two of his E-Dragons right now. Now, he left his board open because, you know, he knew that I got Centipede back. And he didn't want me just blowing something up. But at this point, I'm looking for the OTK. Like, basically, I'm looking at my deck and I'm trying to figure out... Or I'm looking at my hand and my extra deck. And I'm trying to figure out how the hell I can win this turn. Because I, I know that the game is... It's probably one where, you know, I don't have an answer to Judgment Dragon. This is probably the best chance that I'm going to get to basically close the game out. And, uh, yeah, you can see I'm just contemplating. I think I've actually changed my extra deck since then. <clears throat> so you can see I dropped Dark on Dragon. I'm going to summon Centipede. Uh, Centipede is going to equip Gigamantis on it. Oh, no, wait. No, it's not. Okay, maybe it is. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys Gigamantis. I'm going to activate Gigamantis' effect. Uh, oh, yeah, that's it. That's, that's how I do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I use Dark Arm. I pop the Gigamantis, and that's going to trick. <laughs> he quit. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, anyways, to explain how I would have won there, um, Centipede would have triggered. That would have gotten me a sword. And then um, Gigamantis would have triggered, which would have got me Hornet. Hornet would have equipped the Gigamantis. That's 24 from... Um, from Hornet. Uh, if I put the sword on Centipede, that's another 24. So that's 48 plus 27 from Dark Arm. I don't know what that is off the top of my head, but that definitely would have been enough to, uh, to OTK him. So yeah, that's how I would have won that game. And again, I, I give no fucks about Gores. I, <laughs> I established that in the video. If you have Gores, <laughs> more power to you. Now this is a really good opening hand. You can see that I've got Allure Darkness, I've got Foolish Burial, I've got Dragonfly, Ladybug. The only thing that I want with this hand is defense. Like, give me a Wabaku. A Wabaku would be, it'd be glorious right now. But you can see he's already got his milling engine going. I think he hit double solar, uh, solar recharge. So, he's putting a ton of Light Sworn into the graveyard. So, if he hits and equips Wyvern, it's going to be bad for me. And, on top of that, he ends up hitting three more cards from Lila. And I'm like, oh, fuck, this is bad for me. You know, uh, it, at least the, the one thing I can say is at least he didn't hit any of his, um, he didn't hit any of his E-Dragons. So I'm going to go for, um, what's it called? I'm going for Allure Darkness. Now, originally I was going to banish, uh, I was going to banish, what's it called? Uh, Ladybug. But since I got Insect Imitation, I'm thinking that I should banish, what's it called? That I should banish Centipede because Insect Imitation can get me to another Centipede. Although in hindsight, in hindsight, maybe I should have just went straight for the centipede, and maybe uh, I would have been able to still be uh, still use the duality. So, 
uh, if he had like a breakthrough skill. I'm just assuming his face down card is breakthrough skill because he's only shown me two traps this game needle bug and breakthrough skill. So, you know, I have to just kind of assume that. So, um, I'm going to summon Ladybug. I'm going to try and pop his back row. It ends up being uh, Needlebug's Nest, which fucking suck. He knows Mythic Tree Dragon, which I have no idea what the hell that is, and a bunch of different Light Swarms. Now I'm looking in hindsight, and I'm like, yeah, I should have just summoned the uh, Centipede. I should have banished the Ladybug, and my play would have been a little better because not only would I have still been able to go Centipede Pop, but I would have been able to use duality to try and draw a defensive card. Without that defensive card, my hand is kind of fucked right now because, you know, sure, I've got Dragonfly. The problem with Dragonfly is I have that duality still in my hand. You can't use Dragonfly and duality both in the same turn, so it just doesn't work. So I go for the Insector Sword, and I'm just going to attack for 24. Uh, I think I should have set, yeah, yeah, that's what I do. I set duality just as a bluff. You know, duality and ladybug once again don't or duality and dragonfly don't work together in tandem. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, he drops the fucking JD as I knew he would. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm just gonna put centipede back in my deck or back in my hand. I'm going to uh, at least be eating three thousand here. At this point, I'm just hoping that the three thousand is all I'm gonna be taking. But no, <laughs> he uses his normal summon. So what's it called? To uh to summon Equips Wyvern, and then he ends up blowing it up with uh, Judgment Dragon. Equips Wyvern ends up sending one of those Light Ray cards to the graveyard. I don't know what Light Ray it is, but I know it's like one of the 2500 guys. And he removes Equips Wyvern and one of his JDs to summon uh, Title, and I'm just like, oh geez. Which means that Equips Wyvern is going to trigger, it gets him his Light Ray card, and since he has like half of his deck in his graveyard, I know that he can summon it because the summoning condition is pretty much the same as Judgment Dragon, you just have to have like more. So yeah, I'm just looking over his graveyard, and I'm like, oh my goodness, he actually found a way to do like 5k. And then just to add insult to injury, he summons, um, he summons, what's it called, he summons Redox, and it's like, it's a wrap. Now, had I been able to use that duality... Maybe I would have been able to draw some type of defense. So, yeah, you can see um, it was a bad matchup, but I didn't play the best that I could, and then I, I ended up losing because of it. Subscribing makes life happy.